Hey everybody, welcome to another class. We're working again on love quotes. Okay, we've been working on this for, I think it's our 10th class, love quotes. Yeah, it is, part 10. So good. Uh, what we'll do is we'll read different love quotes, and in reading the love quotes, um, that will help us to be able to, you know, understand new vocabulary, also understand the meaning of what the people are saying when they, uh, when they have these different love quotes. Okay, let me go ahead and share my screen here. And on the screen, what I want to do is I want to share with you uh, the rules of the class, but more importantly, how to get reservations. So here's how you get reservations on Verbling. Just go to verbling.com forward slash get reservations. When you get a reservation, that ensures that you have a seat in class. Okay. Again, everybody, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be talking about love quotes. Okay. So feel free to join in. Hey Juan, how are you? Fine, and you Brett, how are you? Doing well, doing well as usual. Good to see you, good to see you. So we're going to be talking about the love quotes, different quotes about love, all right? So. Yes, I already opened the, the tab the window. Yeah, yeah, good, good, good. Yeah, it's, it's nice. Um, you know, I like this class because uh, you get to learn new vocabulary. You get to understand people's thoughts on love. You know, some very famous people, different things that they've written, and so forth. So, all good stuff. Uh, you, you know that Khalil Gibran is one of my favorites. Oh yeah, K Khalil Gibran. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. You know what happened with me? I was exposed to him. I was 22 years old, and I was taking off to Costa Rica. I was living in the United States at the time, and a gentleman gave me that book, The Prophet. And um, you know, you can imagine when you're 22 years old, just how influenced you are by different things, and then going on a big trip like that. And I read the book, The Prophet, and it just really gave me a lot of time. I, w I was there for two and a half months, almost three months basically and it gave me a lot of time to reflect on life yeah that's a very good yes. book very good book and he's um is is he from iran i think he's originally from iran or turkey or someplace like that i'm trying to remember where he's from yeah I'm trying to remember where he's from but i'm i'm not sure but he's uh, he's of the of the middle east or the east the middle yeah he's from the middle east someplace in the middle east yep yeah but good. Yes, good. Middle East. Yep. Yeah, and there's, I think there's a few. I know one of the quotes is in there, and you can usually see a few of those quotes. So very good, very good. Nice, nice to uh, see you again. Hello, Julio. Hello, Julio Mauricio. Hi. Hello. Hi, Julio. Welcome to class. How are you? Hi, thanks. This is my good. first class. I don't understand. No, no, it's Not okay. It's okay. Relax. No need to worry. So where are you from? I'm from Peru. Okay, good, good, good. Home of Machu Picchu. Good, very good. Yeah, really, you already know. You, there's nothing more to explain, Julio, okay? You simply just use the microphone. You mute the microphone when you're not speaking. Um, I screen share all of my documents, so there's usually never anything for you to click open. But I also provide the documents as well in case you need those, okay? And that's really it. It really is that simple. It really is that simple, okay? Okay, hello, hello, Conrad? How are you, How are you? Doing well, Conrad. Good to, uh, good to see you in class again. Good to see you. Don't worry, no, no tongue twisters or nursery rhymes for you this time, Conrad. So it should be pretty easy. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, well, I don't know, cool. I don't know how, how easy it's going to be because, uh, Instead of that, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be talking about uh, love quotes. So I don't know. I think I would rather have to deal with uh, nursery rhymes than to talk about love. 
Not, not that I'm not a caring topic. guy, but yeah, that's the topic. We do different love quotes in this class. I do the same class every week, the same time. So good. Is that any woman? Say that again, Conrad. A special advice to to be touch with to keep in touch with the women like that. It, it, yeah, no, this uh, th this this extends to love of one another, not just uh, love of the opposite sex. So it talks oh, about you know, yeah, yep. Yeah, so it talks about you know love of one another. Let me let me say hi to the other students just because I can hear one breathing a lot. Hello, Min An. Hi, Min An. Yeah. Hi, yeah, hello. Are, hello, how teacher. Hi, how are you, Minan? Hello. Hi, Minan. Yeah, I'm fine, thanks. Good, good, good. And yeah. where are you from? Where are you from, Minan? Uh, I'm from Vietnam. Okay, good, good, good. And Minan, um, yeah, make sure that you pull your microphone away from your face some, okay? All right? Just so we oh. don't hear you breathing. It's okay, though, Minan. It's usually a good idea to mute your microphone when you're not speaking. So Minan, very nice to meet you. Have you taken many classes here? Have you taken yeah, many? Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. Good. Good Minan. Welcome to class. Hello, yeah, thank um you. you're welcome. Hello, Ku Kuthalawat, uh Bunkham. I'm sorry, I know I'm pronouncing your name improperly. Please forgive me. Hello. Uh Kuth Kuthawat? Bunkum. Okay. Kuthala, make sure you understand your microphone has to be working, okay? It's one of the rules of class. Hello, Mohab. Okay. Hello, Pato. Hey, Hi, Pato. How are you? Doing well, doing well. Nice to see you, Pato. Where are you from, Pato? I'm from Ecuador. Okay, good, good, good. All right. Right on. Hello, Nora. Welcome to class, yeah. Nora. Yeah, hello. How are you? Doing well. Welcome to another class, Nora. So good. Thank you. You're welcome. Hello, Mohab. How are you? Hi, Mohab. How are you? I'm good. How are you doing? Good. Doing well. Where are you from, Mohab? I'm from Sudan. Okay. Welcome to class. Welcome to class. Thank you. Yep, you're welcome. Hello, Heba. Welcome back. Hi, good. You? Doing well. Doing well. This is good. I'm surrounded uh, from left to right. People from Egypt. So that's good. That's good. So, yep. And Pato and everybody else. So, guys, make sure when you're not speaking that you mute your microphone. The reason you want to mute your microphone is so we don't hear you typing, okay? All right. So, no problem. It's okay. And in the chat, I just shared the link for the class, okay? But you guys should be able to see what's on the class, okay? Yeah, and Pato. Hey, Pato. So, yeah, Pato, keep your microphone red. Keep it muted when you're okay. typing, I'm okay? I'm turn it off. Okay. I'm sorry. It's okay. Just wanted to let you know, okay? So, Heba, can you read? Oh, actually, you know what? I'm going to let um, Juan read this because he's a fan of uh, Khalil Gibran. Go ahead, Juan. You start us off with this one. Love. Okay. Love. It Love. surrounds every being and... I'm so sorry. An extent. Okay, it's again. Okay. Love. It surrounds every being and extends slowly to embrace all that shall be. Mm-hmm. Yep, okay. So, and guys, feel free to join in the discussion, okay? Feel free to join. Okay, so feel free to join in the discussion. So what is what does this mean, uh, Juan? What does it mean? So surrounds every being. What, what, what does it mean to surround something? Um, it's a kind of abstract. I think that uh, he's almost saying la that love is in the air or in the environment or m almost everywhere uh, for the ones that want to feel the that kind of feeling. 
Mm -hmm. So it surrounds every being, so it's around everything, right? And then it extends, yeah. so extend like to go out, right? Right, so extend yes. to make it longer, right? You know, extend, make it bigger. And then embrace, embrace is like to hold, isn't it? Right, to hold. Yes. So embrace is all that shall be. What does it mean by all that shall be? Mm, I think All you're... that shall be. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, maybe I skip this question. <laughs> it's okay. Can somebody else tell me what it means? All that shall be. What does that mean? All that exists. Yeah, everything that exists, right? You know, all it shall be. Forever and ever. Hello, Vivian. Hello, teacher. How are you, student? I am fine, thank you. Good, good, good. Welcome to class. Hey, now, you've been in my class before, Vivian, or is this your first time? I've been in your class, but it was a while ago. It was a long With time ago? Brenda. Yeah, yes. you can say a long time ago or a while ago. Oh, you're friends with Brenda. Okay, so cool. Yes. Cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, plastic surgeon Brenda. Right? Doesn't she, uh, <laughs> does she work in plastic surgery or something? I always, I always joke with no. her about that. No. So, so good, good, good. Nice to, nice to see you again, Vivian. Very nice to see you. Thank you Thank for coming. You. Nice to be yep. Glad good. to be here. Good, good, good. Okay, so good. So let's see. So Heba... And by the way, guys, if you want to talk about any of this, if you have questions about this, just let me know. Just say, hey, teacher, I don't understand this. Or, well, that's not true. I don't think that love embraces all that shall be. You know, it's okay. It's all okay to have your own opinions, all right? So feel free to stop me if you want. Heba, go ahead, Heba. Can you read the only love or the love, the love we give? Okay, the love we give away is the only love we keep. Wow, what does that mean? Isn't that confusing? What do you mean by give away? What, what happens when you give something away? It's okay, Heba. Can, can somebody, does anybody else know what this means? To give away? And this is the only love we keep? Oh, everybody, don't be so shy. Pato. Good, Pato. You, you seem like a romantic type guy with a big heart. So what, what does this mean, Pato? The love we give away is the only love we keep. How can you give away something and keep it? Oh, Pato, make sure you unmute yourself. You're still muted, me, my friend. I think that when we give love, we receive love. So the love we give away is the only love we keep. Okay. By the way, guys, some of this can mean different things. So I'm open to different interpretations. Okay? All right? So it's all how we look at it. I, the two more people were responding. I think first was Vivian. Go ahead, Vivian. I think you're next, Conrad. So go ahead, Vivian. What were you going to say? Uh, basically the same that Pato did, said. It's like his reciprocity. What you give away is so what you receive. Yeah, uh, reciprocate, right? Reciprocate. Okay, yep. Thank you. Yeah, the love reciprocates. Mm -hmm. uh, and it is, <laughs> and it is uh, I can never say it right, so I think you even said it better than me, like um, repro... Ah, yeah, yeah, I'm not even going to attempt. Reciprocity. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep, and that's the condition of uh, reciprocating. Yep, very good. Uh, Conrad, did you want to say something too? Um, keep away. Uh, you mean like to keep away from you? Okay, keep away. It means yeah. to avoid, to feel love. Mm, so, so you give it away. So you give it to somebody, right? So you give it away. So you give away your love, and then it's the only love we keep. Now, it's not to keep away though. I want to make sure you understand what keep away. So keep away is like when you want something to be avoided. Hello, Joa. 
Uh, hello. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, Joe, I'm fine. But, Joe, I don't. Th you can't realize this, but there's a lot of sound coming from you. Okay. So, okay, Joe. No, worries. no, I mean there is a worry, Joe, because uh, there's too much sound for us to deal with. Okay. So, Joe, in the chat, what I've done is I've put in the chat a link that you can go to. Okay. Because remember, we can't we can't have sounds like chirp 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 going in our ears. Okay. Right. So try to try to figure out what it is and try to get it fixed. So Conrad, um, I'm my yeah. my poet. That means that love it's a present for anyone. Mm hmm. Yep. So it's a present, right? So you give away these little presents, right? Okay. So what does it mean by the only love we keep? You think like these guys say that when you give away love, that love comes back to you? Right? Okay. Okay. And maybe maybe it's kind of, maybe it might mean that, you know, the only love we give away, like if you have love inside, is it really love if you don't give it away? Because love, love is not selfish, right? Okay. So for it to be truly love, you have to give it away. It can't just exist inside. You can say you love yourself, but that's kind of a different love, right? You know? Okay. So maybe maybe by giving it away, we know that that's the only love, only true love, and we keep away, we keep that inside. I don't know. Anyway, um, <laughs> so let's uh, maybe let's, yeah maybe not right. Um, anyway, yeah. Yep. So yeah I'm not, I'm gonna say I'm sorry. No, go ahead. Uh, uh, I'm gonna say that maybe if we switch the order, for example. The love, let's see, the love we keep is the only love we give away. Mm -hmm. Yep, maybe, maybe so. Maybe. Yeah, if you mix, <laughs> if you mix the words, I think you'd still want to include though the only love we keep. I think you'd want to keep it on there. The only love we keep is the love we give away. But yeah, but that yep. that might make it sound a little bit, a little bit different, and uh, make it easier to understand. Hello, uh, Joa. Hi, Joa. Yeah. So go ahead, Joa, and mute yourself. Let's see if it's better. Is it better now? Sorry. Yeah. So Joa, I know that you can't hear it. Okay. I understand you can't hear it. Okay. And I know I know you're going to be frustrated. Okay. But just just let me show you. So you you can see all that all that green stuff. You see how that green line keeps coming from you. Okay, mm -hmm. that's in all that. All of that is going in our ears. Okay, so you understand why you can't stay in class. Okay, please okay. go fix that. You can see that on the bottom. Okay, so please leave class and come back when it's working. Okay, all right. Okay, yeah, because there's just no way that I'm gonna I'm gonna listen to that noise. Okay, so Conrad, Conrad, go ahead. Can you read this next one? We are all born for love. Oh, okay. We are all born for love. It's a principle of existence and it's only end. Mm -hmm. Yep, I don't think this guy understands his microphone's hosed. So, so what, is, what does this mean, we're all born for love? Do you think that's true? It's, 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 yeah, it's true. It's, it's, it's our race to live. Mm -hmm. well, how do you, how do you ex yeah? How do you explain people like Genghis Khan? How do you explain people like Hitler? You know, were they born yeah. for love? No, no, it's about love. Depends. Love is a general word. You could mm -hmm. express love different in a different way. Mm -hmm. Not only for a man or for a woman. It's uh, related to the ideas or the government. Love is a global feelings. Mm, okay, all right. And it means the principle of existence. What does existence mean? Your life. Mm -hmm. Yep. So it's kind of like we can't. It's it's a whole reason that we're living is to love each other. Right. Yeah. Yep. And what does it mean by and its only end? Its only end. You are searching the through love. That is you pursuing. That is your 
that you that's a necessity to reach to reach the through love. Yeah, so reaching, reaching the end, it's only end, the only, the only goal, right? So when it means this, it's only end, it's only goal. Yep, so good. So Min An, what do you think about this? What do you think about this? Do you think we're all born for love, Min An? Uh, sorry, uh, I have visited now uh, where we are going. Yep, sorry. so yeah. yeah, yeah, so we are all born for love. Just, just. Just make sure you pay attention, oh, okay? Yeah. yeah. We, yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, 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 no. Just, just, I'll let you get to the next one, okay? Just make sure you pay yeah. attention. It's okay. It's all right. So yeah, let's go yeah. on here. Thank you. Um, yeah, you're sorry. welcome. Yeah. It's okay, but just pay attention in class, okay? Heba, what do you yeah. think about this? So, Heba, are we all born for love, Heba? Teacher? Uh, can you scroll up a little? No, I can't. Yeah, I can. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to scroll Sorry. up a little? No, 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 it's okay. Yeah. But if I scroll up any more, this is the one we're on. We're all born for love. And here, let me give you this as well, okay? Okay, so Minan, it's okay. I just don't want to explain it again. So what does this mean here, Vivian? What does this mean? As far as we're all born for love, do you think we are all born for love, Vivian? Or do you think I, some I think people are pure, and po pure evil? This quote is linked to the, the one that is uh, at, at the top of the page okay, when it so, says mm -hmm. that it embraces all that is, all that, that shall, shall be. be. Mm -hmm. So yeah. if it embraces all that shall be, and we are here, we are existing. Mm -hmm. So yes, we are all born for love. Yep, good, good, good. So, so Nora, Nora, how do we explain there being evil people? If we're all built for love, how can, how can there be evil in the world too, Nora? It doesn't make sense, does it? Oh, um, you mean uh, we are all born for love, yes? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Do you, yeah. But why are there why are there people that don't love then? If we're all born to love or for love. Oh, uh, yeah. I, I think we born for love, but um, it's one thing. Uh, from all the things we uh, come to this life, uh, there's one thing from it, but there is another thing. But there are other things too. Okay, all right, good. Yeah. And uh, Gada, hi Gada Al Harbib. Hi. Hi. How are you, Gada? I am fine. And you? Doing well. Doing well. Where are you from, Gada? I am from Saudi Arabia. Oh, good. How old are you, Gada? I am twenty. Twenty. Okay. 20. Okay, good. Well, good. Is this your first time here in class? Yes. Okay, good. Good, good. Um, yep, good. So, so welcome to class, Gata. Gata, can you yes, see yeah. on the screen? Can you read this to me if you yes. would be loved? Can you yes. read that? Uh, read? Yeah. If you uh, would be loved? You... Go ahead. Yes, if you would be loved. Love and be love, loveable. Mm -hmm. Yep. And by the way, guys, I understand it's a good conversation. Just be careful when you talk about such topics as rape, okay? So just be careful in the chat. Make sure you keep things really kosher. And I understand the question, but just make sure that you, um, you uh, keep things kosher in there. So, um, yeah, so Gata, what does this mean? If you would be loved... Love and be lovable. So there's love, loved, and lovable. Okay. So what is what is what is loved means? What does it mean to be loved? Love like uh, make love or um, so it's it's okay. And maybe not maybe not so much make love. Okay. So and remember too, uh, for many native speakers, make love means to have sex. Okay, 
So you have to be careful. Uh, yeah, yeah, just be careful when you say make love. It's okay. It's okay. All right? Because yeah. I know in the general sense, you know, it'd be like, um, you know, like, like, uh, like make a cup of coffee, right? And then you think make love. Well, you're just you're yeah. creating love. But actually, it'll mean to have... But anyway, I don't want to talk about it too much, but just be careful when you're saying that, okay? Yeah, Conrad. Conrad, okay. Conrad, slow slow down a little bit, Conrad, okay? Just keep things okay. kind of kosher, okay? But um but yeah, to be loved. Like for instance, uh, you know, maybe a f maybe a friend loves you, okay? And maybe not so much okay. you know, like a like um you know, like a love where you're kissing each other, but just like a love where they love you, right? And then you uh, love, right? That's the action of you loving somebody, right? So uh, yeah. what what does it mean to be lovable? What's lovable mean? Lovable. Um, I think uh, able, um, ability to love for uh, people together like this. Yep, and maybe maybe so people can love you as well. So yes. you're a type of person that's really open. Yep, really open. Yeah. Yep. And any other thoughts, guys? Anybody else? Any other comments on this? No. No. No thoughts. How about you, Minan? Are you lovable, Minan? Okay, maybe she's on the phone again. Hello, owner. Hi, owner. Hi. Hi, owner. Where are you from? I'm from uh, Adana. From where? Uh, where are you? Where are you from, owner? Uh, I'm from uh, Tur Turkey. Turkey. Okay, good, good, good. Welcome to class. Welcome to class. Okay, and Min An, are you lovable? Would you consider yourself lovable? Yeah. Why? I, why would Why would you consider yourself lovable? I think love is lovable because uh, we give and we receive the love is another, and that is the thing that uh, we appreciate the love love we have. Okay, so good, so good. So you're saying that we're lovable because we can give and receive love. Okay, yeah. good, 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 good. Okay, so let's um, let's continue on here. Okay, so uh, Pato, Pato, can you do Woe the Man? Oh, and uh, make sure you unmute yourself, okay? Give me a minute. Mm -hmm. Woe to, to the, the man whose heart has not learned while young to hope, to love, and to put its trust in life. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's a lot to it. Can you explain that to us? I think it means to, even when you are young, you need to learn to love, because uh, in this world, there is too much violence and bad things because people don't love, don't love each other. Yep. And Vivian, Vivian wanted to know what woe means. What is woe to the man? What does that mean? It's okay. So woe. So say that, Conrad. A, a trouble, a problem. Exactly, exactly. Like, woe to the man, meaning like um, like he's going to have problems, like you feel bad for him, okay? Like his life's not going to be good. Woe to the man who lies to everyone. Woe to the man who tries to deceit everyone, okay? All right, so that's what woe. It's like negative, like, it's almost like a warning, you know, okay? Like a warning bad things, problems are going to happen. Yes, Conrad. Okay, so Pato, um, what else does this mean? So, so it's a warning whose heart is not learned while young. Why do you think while young? Do you think it's, you th why do you have to learn it while you're young? Can't you, can't you always learn something when you're older? Because I think anything, everything is easier when you are young to learn. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe easier to... It becomes to... a pattern in life. Yep. What do you think, owner? What do you think? Is it okay to learn things when you're young, or should you wait until you're older? Okay, let's go on. Anybody else? Does anybody else want to comment on this? Any other um, thoughts? Go ahead. Yes. Okay. Not only uh, because it's difficult, to, it's easier to learn when you're young, but also because if you learn it when you're young, you can use it um, on the rest of your life. Okay, good, good, good. So that way you spend more I, time loving, right? Okay, go ahead. Go ahead, Minan. I think that uh, when we're young, we don't have uh, any appearance, uh, and we waste the time to be half and love and trust in life. Because somebody that uh, they are uh, living the life, but they love the life. They uh, look like wu to the man. They uh, live the life, but they don't have love. They tr don't trust in love, and they don't have half. And they they live the life, look like nothing. They are just live. That they, I think that uh, we need to have the half and love and trust in life. For we have to look for the the goal for life, and we uh, can because we are uh, going through the life. We have a lot of problem and a lot of time to go with us, and we need to know that, and we pass, and we can go on. And mm. because the half and love and trust. And that's the uh, motivation for us to move on. Mm -hmm. I think so. Yep, so good, yep. good, yeah. The motivation, right? Okay, so it's good to have this when you're young so you stay plenty motivated throughout your life, right? Okay, yeah. good, good, good. Any other thoughts? And by the way, so Gata, Juan, Conrad, Pato, so all, everybody, anytime you want to say something, just feel free, okay? There's something here that doesn't that doesn't make sense. Okay, just let me know. All right. Good job. Okay. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Conrad. I I suppose that love is some mix. What's that, Conrad? You know what, Conrad? You're breaking up just a little bit. Can you repeat yourself, please? Go ahead, Conrad. I suppose that love is some. And a leading reason to live, you exist thanks to the love, because if you, you feel the feel love, you put your life and trust in your life. Okay, so it's the truth in life, or you trust in life because of you, because of having love. Yeah. Mhm. Mm yep. Yep. Well. Okay. And good. 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 Um, let's see. Let's go on to the next one here. And I think yes. Yeah, so you're the last one here, Vivian. So Vivian, can you read this next one here? To love and be loved. To love and be loved is to feel the sun from both sides. Hmm. So what what does it mean by that? What does it mean by that? Is that like is that when you get a sunburn? Does it mean like you're getting a sunburn? No, it's like. A miracle or a gift. Okay, so it's not it's not like this where this guy's getting a sunburn, right? <laughs> look I at, hope not. Look at her, <laughs> look at her face. <laughs> That's not good. This isn't good. <laughs> not, not good. Look at look at this guy's sunburn. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I don't I don't I don't think it's like a burning sun, right? So it's just that nice warmth. You get that nice warmth from the sun, you know. Especially, especially if it's like a nice spring day and you're outside, you get the warmth of the sun. So yeah, it must be nice to feel that from both sides, right? Okay. So that's when you love, and you're loved in return, right? Okay. So it's, good. It's, it's very beautiful. The the sentences because the love. Is one of the most important miracle and magic moments in our life. Yep. 
Yep, very much so. It's nice, though. You know, it's nice when you're able to give and receive at the same time, right? You know, sometimes people, they'll spend all their time uh, trying to get love from others, right? Yeah. Okay. And then other people are trying to just, you know, give love all the time, just waiting for it to come back. It's so it's kind of nice. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Uh, may I ask you one thing about that, that topic? Uh-huh. Yep. Do you believe that it's possible to to get a lot um, through all the social networks? Um, to get love from the social networks, you mean? Um, I think I think there's some type of, in in some ways, okay. <laughs> there is there is um, you know you could say that there's some sort of like love that's there, right? Um, so yeah, I mean, from social networks, uh, from the people in there involved with that, you know, I mean, I'm I'm so I, I tell you, I'm so happy when I have students post good comments like, oh, teacher, you know, thank you so much, and you know, and that that's a that's a form of love, right? It ma it makes me happy, you know. The true love, the authentic love. True love, I just I just don't. I think it's possible. And you, you guys, you feel free to feel free to answer as well. I myself, I think it's possible to meet somebody that can then become your true love, okay, through some sort of social network. Um, and yeah, it's it's possible. It's definitely definitely possible. Especially you think about this, all right. So think about our grandparents. So our grandparents didn't have the telephone or at least it was in its infancy right okay right um, they didn't there's no such thing as the internet okay so they used to write each other letters they used to write each other love letters well in some yeah. ways when people are communicating online they're writing each other different letters to get to know each other right to get to know each other okay. it's, it's more romantic than nowadays it's it's the type of uh, romance that we have nowadays. Yep. Yeah. Where we um. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't. I don't. Yeah. I don't. I don't know if it's good or bad either. You know. It's um. Just because it cuts out so many senses, right? You know. Because you're not able to see the person. But anyway. And and anybody else? I hope I answered your question, Conrad. Anybody else? What do you think about love? I I think someday people will meet each other. I think there must be at least one or two students on Verbling that have found some sort of love through there, right? Is that is anybody found a love, or at least like a playful love, on Verbling yet? No, no. I, I think I think some of the male Not students yet. have. Yeah, I think some of the male students have no. crushes on on some of the uh, the female teachers though. You know, there's there's some pretty pretty teachers in class and I, I can see some of them seem to have some crush have a crush on them why are you laughing so much Vivian <laughs> do you do you do you have a crush on one of the male teachers Vivian no when you were no? talking about of the female teachers it made me remind of someone of the female teachers yeah yeah yep yep yeah no I mean there are there are some pretty pretty teachers so yeah, some people have a crush. Might have a crush on them. Okay. So um, any anybody else? Any thoughts on uh, finding love on a show, social network? I don't think it, it's a good idea to have a love or to f try to find a love from a social network. Cause you will you would never get to know enough from that person. And why? Well. Maybe I think what we're saying here is that it's not going to be the social network. It's not like because of the social network you're going to meet and then you're going to continue talking all the time on the social network and then you're going to get married without meeting each other or something like that. But um, I think what we're talking about is the initial contact and then continued contact through the social network. It's okay, uh, got then it. it could be. But, yeah. <coughs> yep, then it could be, right? Yep. Yeah, she has a ton of admirers. Yeah. That's why I was laughing. Yeah, yeah. 
So, um, guys just go crazy, you know, their heart starts pumping. So, so yeah, got it. So, I don't think that we're talking about, you know, being able to 100% uh, follow through on all of it on a social network. But, you know, it can, you can find somebody, you know, that, that you can, uh, that you can love. There's also, there's also dating sites, right? You know, so there's a whole bunch of dating sites like, uh, you know, Match dot com right so you look at these guys oh I love you I love you too oh we're so happy we met on match okay but there's a lot of these sites out there that are um that you know they do help people to find other people you know look how happy oh my look how happy thank you so much match dot com thank you again match dot com thank you again match dot com okay so there are different sites like that as well. Okay. So let's um let's continue on here. Um, I forgot who's next because I'm so dumb. So gotta we'll just try you anyway. So how about this one? He who loves. Go ahead. Um, please again. He who loves flies, runs and rejoices. Go ahead. No. Yes. <laughs> you have to read it. Don't tell me no. <laughs> so go ahead, read He Who Loves. Go ahead, read uh, uh, okay. Uh, he, who, he Who Loves uh, flies, runs, and uh, Rejects. He is rejoices. free and rejoices. He is free, and nothing holds him back. Mm -hmm. So, what it, what does this mean? He who loves. What about flies? What do you mean by flies? Flies like feels. Mm. Oh, really? Flies. Like, like what? You know, it's okay. So, so it's not like you're really flying, but you're kind of like, what's that? Good feeling, or uh... yeah, yeah. So it's it's not like really flying. It's not yeah. like you're really flying, right? You know, but like kind of fly. <laughs> what is what is this? Look at this dog. That is so so cute. Gosh, I always get sidetracked. So, so it's not like you're physically flying, but you feel like you're flying, like wow, oh, flying. like, like flying. fly, yeah, yes. like flying. Mm -hmm. Yep. So you know, you love, you fly, yeah. you run. You know, what what does it mean to rejoice? What does it mean to rejoice, Scotta? What does it mean to rejoice? Uh, I don't know. It's okay. Well, you're here to learn. Does anybody else know what it means to rejoice? To feel Rejoice. happy. Yep. yep. What's that, Pato? Feel happy inside. Well, yeah, to, to feel happy, but but also to, what, what else, Minan? What does rejoice mean? Yeah, I am so, also think happy and uh, think that uh, interesting in life, something like this. Mm-hmm. And so, and yeah, but rejoice. Does anybody else can they can they um, define joy, rejoice a little more? Does anybody here go to church? Great happiness. Um, rejoice is um, not so much uh, creating happiness. Does, does anybody go to church? Yeah, yes. rejoice in the world, and I say rejoice again. Yeah, so rejoice. Yeah, so it's it's like to like to be so happy about what you have, right? And go go ahead, uh, Juan. What were you yes. going to say? Yes. Um, well, according to my religion, uh, well, it's a kind of difficult to talk about religion here, but I'm going to be uh, uh, prudent. Okay. Um, rejoice, like uh, feel a lot of uh, happiness. Uh, it is uh, almost like... Uh, Touch the sky, like touch above or death. 
Mm, you're you're breaking up. So yeah, so like when you when you rejoice, it's like you're um you're saying how thankful you are for something, right? You know? You're like, oh this is so good. I'm so lucky, okay? So, you know, that's part of part of it as well. Okay? Okay. All right. What is uh what does it mean by he is free and nothing hold him, holds him back, gotta? Ah uh, yes, um, freedom. Freedom. Um, nothing. It's okay. It's okay, God. We're here to help you. Okay. It's all right. Can Can somebody else explain this? Uh, he is free and nothing holds him back. What is What does that mean? It's okay. So, does anything hold you back, Conrad? To contain, to how to explain, to receive, accept, to give and apply. Yes. Yeah. So to hold back, to hold something back, or to hold someone back, it's like they're not they're not able to do all that they can do. Something's holding them back. Sometimes if kids don't do well in school, they hold them back a year. Were you gonna say something else, Minan? I think that uh, cannot uh, stop them, stop him going through love. Uh, no, no one can interrupt him. Mm -hmm. So no one can prevent him from doing anything, and he's free, yeah. right? He's free. Yeah. Yep, he's free. Nothing, nothing's helping him. So, hello, Eric. Eric Chen. Eric, you think the dong ma? Eric, ni hao. Eric, go lai haba. Eric, go lai. That means come here in Chinese. I assume he's Chinese, Derek Chen. So, um, okay, so he's free. So he's free. So, um, uh, Juan, the next one here. What's this? Love means not ever. Love means not ever having to say you are sorry. Mm -hmm. well, what does that mean? Um, maybe in a relationship, when you are doing something wrong, uh, your your partner uh, is gonna understand if you do something wrong, or, and you don't have to say I'm sorry. Yep. Yeah. Here, let, let me let me see what's going on with this Eric guy. Eric, Eric, go lie, haba. Oi, Eric. Oi, ni ting the dong ma. Eric. Ni chita wa. Ni chita wa. Ni chita wa. Hao bu hao. Ni wei xue zhong guo wa mi nan. Kui 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 la. Hi, kui la. Wu wei xi di an. Hello. Hey guys, I'm just kidding around. I know I should be speaking English, but hey, Eric. Hello, hey, Eric. sorry, I'm late. Yeah. You, well, no, Eric, it wasn't that you're late. You turned on class and you start walking around, okay? So, Eric, listen, when you come into class, you have to be ready. Okay, okay? sorry. Yeah, we don't, want, we don't want to have to tell you come here, okay? Okay. Where, where, are, you, where, are, you from? where are you from, Eric? I'm from Taiwan. Oh, you're from Taiwan, okay. Yeah. So, yeah, so you, sp you speak proper. Mandarin. Yeah, I speak, speak proper yeah. Mandarin, the uh, typical Mandarin. Mm-hmm. Yep, yeah. yep, yep. Very good. Very good. So good. Yeah, people don't realize, but Taiwan, uh, the Chinese have a lot to thank for Taiwan because Taiwan took a lot of the old history, a lot of the old art and everything from China. They yeah. also maintained the full Chinese language. So there's simplified Chinese, which people speak in mainland China, and then there is the regular full Mandarin, which you speak in Taiwan. Okay. Well, anyway, Eric, welcome to class. Is this your first time here? Yes. 
Okay, well, good, good. Just make sure next time you're sitting here, okay? Yes. So I don't have to. So I don't everyone. have to scream out. So I don't have to scream out. Go lie, go lie, Eric. <laughs> yeah, I heard about what uh, you are calling to come here. <laughs> yeah. You're kind of freaked out. What's this teacher doing? Anyway, welcome to class, okay? Please. Welcome to class. Okay, so we're talking about love. So yeah, so what what again does this mean? Um, so I forgot it was a Conrad. So love means never having to say you're sorry. What does this mean, guys? I, I thought that I thought that if you hurt somebody's feelings that you love, that you tell them you're sorry. You'd say you'd say to him, Eric, buhau isa. Is that yeah. right? Yes. You know, I'm sorry. So why why would you not be able to say that? You know, if, why does love mean uh, never having to say you're sorry? Can anybody? Oh, uh, the love, love needs to have a mutual comprehension because mm -hmm. if sometimes you could be something wrong, it's not necessary to say pardon. The other, the, the other one could understand mm -hmm. you, but she or he not know it's okay. your honor. Yeah, but it's look, hey, hey, Eric. Here. Eric, make sure make sure you mute yourself when you're not speaking, or otherwise you breathe in the microphone. It sounds like okay. it kind of turns me on. So just mute your microphone, okay? Go ahead, Conrad. Okay. Hey, Darth Darth Vader, mute yourself. <laughs> so go ahead, Conrad. <laughs> continue, continue on. So so it means not having to say you're sorry. Can I, can I interrupt you, Conrad, and ask you a question? Can I ask yeah. you a question, Conrad? So, so what if, let's say you're married, Conrad, and you cheat on your wife? Okay. Yeah. So, so do you should you tell her that you're sorry or not? No, 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 no. Because I, I am able to understand. Because sometimes it's, it's necessary to anyone have their own space to leave, to feel, to discharge the energy. Because sometimes you are full with full with angry and you deceive anger, the other. With anger. Mm -hmm. Yep. But but you're saying if you cheat on your wife you don't have to tell her you're sorry? Yeah, sometimes, sometimes. It, it, it's more common to me to say I'm sorry, pardon. I apologize. And she Yeah. She, I, I, I I can tell Viviana's going crazy here. Viviana, <laughs> go sorry. go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, Viviana. <laughs> No, wait, wait. it's his opinion. I have to respect. Yeah, it's but it's okay. But that's the thing here too about these love things. It's all different opinions, you know. So, but maybe too, Conrad. Maybe too. Maybe maybe this. You know, when you think about it. Um, yeah. And again, everybody, you know, can do their own thing. But if you cheat on your wife, maybe you don't really have love, right? So love yeah. doesn't really exist then. You know, sometimes we make mistakes, but deep down maybe there's not real love. Maybe just some sort of superficial love. So the real love, you would never cheat on her, so you wouldn't have to say you're sorry. So maybe with real love, you don't have to say you're sorry as well. Maybe there's two meanings because you're not going to do something that's wrong to hurt the other person, right? Okay? And when but you do... Go ahead, Conrad. I suppose that that phrase of quote it refers to the big big things, not the little things. Mm -hmm. uh, great mistakes. Yep, yep. Yeah. Um, so so some of the mistakes. And anybody else? Any other thoughts? Maybe, uh, because when you're sorry, it means you means you regret doing something. So maybe mm -hmm. when you're I mean, if you're loved, you may loved. If there's a context of love, then you don't really regret doing things. Okay. I don't know Got how it. to explain that. That's okay. I think that. Good, Pato. I think that when you love someone, you don't want to hurt her, so you wouldn't say sorry because you wouldn't hurt her. You want to do it in the first place? And also, too, like Conrad was explaining, you know, the forgiveness is already there as well, you know? Um, and may maybe cheating on a, a person may be a little extreme for some people, right? But the thing is, you know, there's an understanding, so you don't always have to say you're sorry. 
the other person kind of just forgives you anyway, right? Okay. All it's right. So let's. Uh, what's that, Minan? Yeah, I think that uh, when we love uh, and uh, we not intend to make people hurt. We don't intend. If, we don't intend yeah. to hurt people. Yeah, yeah, mm. and hurt people. Uh, we don't intend to hurt people because we love them. And if mm. we have the mistake and make them hurt, I think the if we are uh, truly have love, and we do by action, and beside us, uh, that's either the way we say sorry because we care mm. for the for for her or him, and yep. that's the I think. The, we show out that we are love them. We need to show out. We not only just say sorry. Sorry, everyone also can say, but the action is really is show out the who, how much we love. That's in my opinion. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Good. Good. Got it. Got it. Okay. Yeah. Anyone else? No, okay. And hello, Amir. Hi, Amir. Okay. And by the way, guys, class is class is almost over. We're getting almost towards the end. We have love just gushing out. Um, Minan. Yeah. Can you read this? Can you read this here? People think love. Where? Where? Uh, on the screen. People think love is an emotion. Can you show for me the? Oh yes, I can. Yes, I can. Uh, no problem. Mm, okay. Go ahead. People think love is an emotion. Love is good sense. Mm hmm. Yeah. So what does that mean? What's a what's an emotion and what's a sense? Emotion, emotion, feeling. I think so. Emotion, feeling. And sense here yeah, is uh, we can feel it, we can know that we hurt or be happy or be joyful. I think mm -hmm. so. I not really know, but I think so. It's okay. So yeah, like like anger, right? <laughs> Sadness, happiness, uh, yeah, love. Yeah. You know, we all consider those emotions. So what's what's a sense? What is a sense? What are one Same of the senses? Minute, uh, we can. Uh, uh, I I like take the simple man and woman. They are love each other, but they don't say. The woman don't say to the man, but the woman know the man know that the woman love the man through the sense, and two of them know that they are love to each other. Is oh yeah, sense? but it's. Sense. Oh, a sense like like our we have our five senses: sight, hearing, taste, touch, and smell. Right? Yeah, yeah. So yeah. those are different than emotions. That's what saying love is, right? You know, it's not. People think love is an emotion, but it's a good sense. It's a good ability. Okay. Well, hey guys, I tell you what, I'm gonna I'm gonna end class just because I have another <laughs> one coming up. The two next classes are uh, advanced classes. Okay. All right. So if you're intermediate to advanced, you should be fine. But if you're just uh, 